If you're wondering why it's 807.50 and not 807 or 808, eh, well, that's what happens when you're on um, dealing with uh, government agencies, Section 8, housing vouchers, things like that. They, they come up with like <laughs> like random rent numbers, right? Now, at 79.9, you might be like, wait, what? What? That's insane, James, right? This should be like 110K, right? All day. I know. It should. All right. What room is everybody in? Okay. All right, I'll let you know when I come that way so you can run and hide. Oh, there's a kitty. All right, thank you so much. You're We're gonna head downstairs and do the basement. We should be done up here, so. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Enjoy the day. It's a beautiful Friday out. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I would much rather go to like the really sketchy ghetto places yeah. Than like any place that has bees. God damn, that bees are in my ear. What the going on over here? What the? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise be giving it to you straight. Today, today we got to talk about lead, y'all. Got to talk about lead, man. Lead, 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 lead. Lead is the name of uh, the game. Lead is uh, very important to this particular property, right? 4481 West 30th, okay? Cleveland, 44109, 799, folks. Occupy duplex. Market rent, 875 a unit, right? 1750. We got two long term tenants in there. One is paying 80750. If you're wondering why it's 80750 and not 807 or 808, eh, well, that's what happens when you're on um, dealing with uh, government agencies, Section 8, housing vouchers, things like that. They, they come up with like, <laughs> like random rent numbers, right? Uh, but when this tenant was placed, that's what the, the rent value was given to us, okay? But that's, that's probably 80. Probably 875 right now, right? Instead of 80750. But uh, you know, back when that tenant was placed, that's what they they valued it at. But rents have gone up considerably since then, right? So you got some some leeway there. And then this other tenant, dude, super long term legacy tenant, five thirty five a month, right? So we're getting thirteen forty two fifty. We should be getting seventeen fifty if you get these people up to market. Now at seventy nine nine, you might be like, wait, what? What? That's insane, James. Right? This should be like one hundred ten k, right? All day. I know it should, but lead, we got to talk about lead, folks. The new lead loss, right? I know a lot of you guys out there, you guys are buying properties in Cleveland and you're not talking to the seller. You're not talking to your realtor. You're not talking to them about these lead certifications. This law ain't going anywhere, folks. It's new, but it's here. And this is the kind of stuff that happens. This particular property uh, I believe my guy should throw it on the screen. Tyler, throw it on the screen for me, man. What is this? This is the lead bid. $20,235, right? That's what it's going to cost to get this particular property lead certified, right? If you've never seen a lead bid or don't even know what this lead certification process is, I'll tell you quickly, every single landlord, every single rental property owner in the city of Cleveland has to get their property lead certified, right? You need to get this type of a bid and this work needs to get done. Of course, Holton Wise will be able to do this for the buyer, uh, but the process of actually getting this kind of a bid is actually rather difficult. Not a lot of contractors even understand or are licensed to do it, right? More information, folks, on how the lead certification process works. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll link that below this video to the show notes, okay? OK, you guys are going to want to check that out. But these lead certifications uh, are very important, right? If you do not get this particular property lead certified, technically, that is uh, a minor misdemeanor building code violation. Right. So as such, uh, we have dramatically reduced the price. Right. Seventy nine nine, because as soon as you pick it up, folks, there is uh, twenty thousand two hundred thirty five dollars worth of work that you need to do. Uh, to keep this property legal, right? But in reality, 
It's a hundred ten, hundred fifteen thousand dollar duplex all day. So because you got to do the work up front, uh, we are setting this up where you get a monstrous, monstrous discount, right? So if that makes sense for you, you're ready to step in, grab that equity uh, because you're able to handle uh, these lead repairs up front. Perhaps go ahead and refinance it after the fact, right? This might be a good candidate for someone to do a bird deal on, right? You buy it, then. Do your lead repairs, then refi it later down the road. I specifically would recommend you refi it after we get those rents all the way up to market, right? If that makes sense for you, that's what you want to do. Send your offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If you're paying cash, include the proof of funds. Uh, if you are financing, you can totally still finance this. Uh, it not being lead certified, it's a Cleveland law, uh, but doesn't have to really do with the habitability of the home as far as like the lender is concerned. Concerned. Uh, so that's not going to be an issue. Uh, so you can still finance it if you like. Just send me your offer along with the pre-approval for your lender. If you need lenders, I got those for you, folks. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. All right, from New York, we're here to get fucked. God damn, that bee just fucking flew in my ear. What the fuck is going on over here? What the? Got some suicidal bees. I don't like it. <laughs> I went to go say the address and the bee fucking flew right in my ear. 4481. Uh, last 30. Shh. Secret shed. <laughs> Secret shed is only legend. Alright. See, they don't like the stick light better. Yeah, what's wrong with that one? We can't find it. <laughs> Probably in Derek's old car. I uh... Alright, what room is everybody in? Okay. Alright, I'll let you know when I come that way. So you can run and hide. Oh, there's a kitty. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. We're gonna head downstairs and do the basement. We should be done up here, so. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Enjoy the day. It's a beautiful Friday out. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I would much rather go to like the really sketchy ghetto places yeah. than like any place that has bees. Yeah. I'm not trying to fuck with bees, dude. I don't like bees. I don't like bees. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you guys. I don't like bees. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Although I heard that this is gonna be a super mild summer. Really? Yeah. Honestly, I'm okay with that. It's much better than the super harsh summers that we keep yeah. having. And then hot water tanks, right? We passed them up already. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I closed that. I gotta get pictures down here. Today's like super nice. Like I stepped outside and I'm like, holy shit, it actually feels like. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.